Grade 7 math number 6.3, what is a two-step algebraic equation? Well, it's an equation that's solved in two different steps. If we have 3x minus 4 equals 11, it's a two-step equation because we need to do step 1, add 4 to both sides of the equal sign because it says minus 4. We're going to do the inverse operation and add 4 to each side of the equal sign. Step 2, we would divide both sides by 3 to isolate this x to get it by itself to find out what it equals. So step one is adding four to both sides. That creates a zero pair here, and we can cancel this out. And 11 plus four is 15. So now we have three x equals 15. Well, three x means three times x. And the inverse operation of multiplication is division, so we divide both sides by three. 3 divided by 3 creates a 1. 3 over 3 with the same numerator and denominator makes a 1. So that's a 1x. So the x, 15 divided by 3 is 5. The x equals 5. See? Two steps. Add and then divide. We can translate the words of a word problem into numbers, variables, and operations. A one-year membership at the gym costs $350. There's a $50 fee when we join, and the balance is paid monthly until paid in full at the end of the year. So write an equation to represent the payments. So we think there's a $50 fee and then payments for a year. Well, one year is 12 months, so if there's monthly payments, that's 12 payments. So we're going to let x equal the monthly payments, and we need 12 of them, don't we? So now we've got 50 plus 12x equals 350, because that was the total of the cost for the year. The $50 initial fee, 12 monthly payments of X, whatever those payments are. So the first thing we do is we subtract 50 from both sides because that's a positive 50. And what would we do to one side of the equation? We have to do to the other side of the equation on each side of the equal sign. That creates a zero pair here and the 50 cancels itself out. 50 take away 50 is zero. Now we have 12x equals 300 because 350 minus 50 is 300. That was step one, subtracting 50 from both sides. Step two is because 12x means 12 times x, that's multiplication, the inverse to get rid of this 12 and to get x by itself would be division. So we're going to divide both sides by 12. 12 over 12 creates a 1. So that gives us a 1x. 300 divided by 12 is 25. So we know x equals 25. There's $25 per month payments. See? Well, we can also do the opposite and invent a word problem to fit an equation we already have. If we have 4x minus 10 equals 70, we can invent any story we want to fit the 4x minus 10 equals 70. I came up with Emma bought four shirts for X dollars and used a $10 coupon, and she paid $70. How much was each shirt? So we would just solve this in two steps. Because this is minus 10, we would add 10 to each side. Then we would get 4x equals 80. Then, because this is a multiplication, we'd divide as our second step to get rid of this 4. And we'd end up with 80 divided by 4 is 20, so x equals 20. The x is the unknown amount. 4x means the unknown amount is multiplied by 4. The minus 10 means, for some reason, 10 is subtracted from the product of 4x. And the equal 70 means that after multiplying the unknown number by 4 and subtracting that 10, we have 70 left over. So that's how we end up with 4x minus 10 equals 70. See? So for more help with algebraic word problems, I have an entire playlist of just algebra word problems. It's in the Joanne School Algebra Word Problems playlist. There's many step-by-step -step examples of many different types of algebra word problems, okay? So some of them get pretty advanced, too, near the end of the playlist. So if you want to check those out, if you're having trouble with word problems, I actually take it step-by-step -step and break down each word problem in little parts, okay? So that's what a two-step algebraic equation is, and we're going to go on to 6.4, and we're going to talk more about solving them. I'll see you there. Bye.